Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we would like to show you how to make sarong with smoke process. So you will know exactly behind the scenes of our product process. First step, we need to prepare the rayon fabrics. Rayon fabrics is an absolute materials we need to have while manufacturing some kind of garment products. We need to cut and separate the cloth into 2 meters piece. Why must be 2 meters? Because it can cover average human body size. It is the reason why sarong size is one fits to all. The characteristic of sarong are thin, elastic and smooth. After that, we can begin to coat the fabrics. The aim of coating is to make the fabrics involves fixation process. Fixation in garment industry is a process to make the color of the fabrics stay permanent. While coating, we must use water glass as the catalyst. However, to involve fixation process there are two material that we can use. Water glass, or baking soda. The result of fixation use water glass is not only the color stay permanent, but also it adds glossy touch on the fabric. The next process, is prepare a mat or anything similar to cover the floor. This doesn't have to be a mat, we just need to make sure the fabrics we are going to lay down on the ground, remain clean and safe from any obstacles. After we completely cover the floor, we must clean it once again to make sure the mat is totally clean for later on process. Then, arrange the fabrics that already coated before and place it on the mat. After that, shrink the fabrics like shown on the video. Next, prepare for coloring process. Mm -hmm. 
The first step of coloring is mixing the chemical with the powder dyes. The chemical consists of Prision and Manutex. The weight of the material plays a big role of the color strength. That more the material weight, that more strong the color. After measuring the weight done, place it on the bucket for the next mixing process. Pour a plain water inside the bucket and stir it evenly distributed. After that, sprinkle the fabrics using previous color mixture. You will see later on that the color has light and strong scents. Because earlier we already shrink the fabrics and now we can see the effect after adding color on the fabrics. Spots is one of a technique in smoke process to add a similarly like dots effect. The reasons to use dots technique is to let the base color stay so it's not going to disturb the color base. Another smoke technique that we can use is droplet. It is similar with spots, to add a dots effect, but, it is more like an abstract dots bomb. After that, let's go into the finishing process. The first thing we have to do is to wash the fabrics that have been already dyed before. The purpose of this is to make sure the color left over is gone and have a tidier result. Then rinse the fabric. Then, soak in water that has been mixed with softener for one night to make the sarong feel softer. Finally, we are reaching the last process.
Dry the fabrics that have been soaked before and wait for one night to get fully dried. That's all step by step for smoke coloring process. If you find this video useful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check our website and our social media for more Batik Sarong collection. Please send an email to hello at belisarong.com. Thank you for watching.